Right then, boys, we're going to do a review of my new wedges. That's right, I've got the new Callaway Opus wedges, I've got the Platinum wedges, and I've got the normal wedges. Which one's better? Why I like them so much? Are they worth getting? Because they've got a very high price point, and how have they changed my game? We're going to go through it all. Let's do it. So I hadn't really ever brought like specific wedges for myself. I never really got fully fit for wedges. And to be honest, I love short game. Like it's a big part of the golf game. I really enjoy short game. It's one of my strongest parts of my game. And I really felt that I was struggling from like outside of 50 yards. Around the green, I was good with my old wedges. I had the Callaway Jaws Raws, but I wanted to fit in with the shafts and I'll talk that a little bit later on as well but I just wanted a bit of an update. And I have to say, since I've had the Opus wedges, it's been absolutely games changing. I mean, what I love the most more than anything is the look. I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. Like that lovely sort of bit roundish, nice lines sort of look like reminds me so much of like a, a bokey, but I actually think they look even better. I've got the irons that perf are perfectly fit to me. Obviously got woods that are really well fit to me. I've got a nice putter that I'm happy with. But the wedges have always been one that I felt like I've never really spent my money on. And it really, if I wanted to get my approach game better and my tee to green game better, I really need to invest in a good set of wedges, knowing that they'd be the right fit for me. And there's no fucking excuse when, you know, that they're not the right clubs when you're missing greens and so on and so forth. So for me, it was all about just getting the right clubs for me. And I have to say so far, having them for literally a few weeks, they've been absolutely amazing. And I feel like I can do a pretty valid review based on the fact that I have the Opus and I have the Opus Platinum. Reason being, is they don't do an Opus Platinum in a 50 degree. So you have to go with the Opus in 50, um, and then I've got the Opus Platinum in 56 and 60, and I'll talk a bit more about details of what the difference is with the Platinum a bit later on in the video, so make sure you stay around for that. But first thing, as I said, the main selling point with these and what Callaway seem to be just raving on about nowadays is this groove technology they've put in. Like, this not so much abundant on the normal Opus, but on the Opus Platinum, they brought in this like double groove. Like, grooves have got grooves, basically. They're meant to generate some extreme amount of spin. And do you know what, for once, it's actually fucking true. I have never hit wedges in my life that have ever come out this spinny. Like, the control around the greens is a joke. It genuinely is. I've hit so many shots where I thought, that's not even that pure, and then it just checks up. You know, even with hitting my, you know, 50 degree certain distance, they've been absolutely on point and getting so much zip. I mean, I, I would get quite a lot of spin, but round the greens, like, you can never ask for too much. I have to say they've been absolutely brilliant so far. Something that has surprised me, actually, that I never really expected was probably the forgiveness. I hit a couple, I've hit quite a few non-pure shots with my 60 and, like, my 56, and it's come completely out of the top of the face. And somehow it's travelled way further than my previous set of wedges, which, were, as I said, were the Callaway Jaws Roars. However, as I said, I did get fitted for these. They are a little bit, they're, they're my perfect fitting, which is half an inch longer, half degree upright. And I got X7s in these, which are the same shafts that I use in my irons. Previously, and some of the golfers as well, sometimes use flexier shafts in their wedges, right? You can get that like wedge flex, can't you? That's a bit more flexy to help generate spin and so on. But I found that really affected my long shots with my wedges or controlling distance. So I couldn't wait to get these shafts in there and just be control my spin and feel like it was a normal, it just felt, yeah, better in my hand. And already the distance difference has been incredible. So I don't know whether that's the head, I'll be honest. I think it has a lot to do with the shaft as, you know, they do say the shaft is like the engine of the club. Yeah. Um, but as I said, the head's performed brilliantly. Even when I haven't hit it pure, it's still come out really, really flipping well. So I'm now gonna talk through, you know, the big difference from the Platinum and the standard Opus. So as I said, I've got the Platinum in the 56 and the 60. That's where it's only available. It's not available in the 50. I don't know what that is, to be honest. It would have been nice to have a, have a, have a Platinum in the 50. But I think it's something to do with the fact that basically with the Platinum wedge, as you can see, there is a bit of a visual difference. The Platinum has this bit of tungsten at the bottom and you've got like a bit of a ribbed, ribbed chrome face as well, where the the standard Opus is smooth all over. And again, both very similar shape. These are both S grinds as well. So there's no difference in shape with these. One's got, this has got 12 degrees of bounce, bounce from 56. And this has got 50. 
So it's very, very similar club, but as you can see, a slight visual difference with, with the Platinum. Now, the main difference as I said, is this bit of tungsten. This is meant to add a bit of weight to the club. This is meant to help you get a bit more down force. It's meant to help generate a bit more spin and lower trajectory, which is exactly what I got on because I was like, do you know what? For me, I hit a really high ball. With a lot of club speed, a lot of ball speed, a lot of spin means this usually, right? But if I can try and keep the ball down, I'm going to use everything I can. However, do they justify the big price difference? I think you're genuinely looking at 70 around these about these can i think these are around 170 i may be wrong on that so don't hold me to a few five, you know five quid or something and i think these are looking around at least 70 quid more you're talking like 250 quid a wedge if I, you then put in my the shaft which is another which is of another extra this is a 300 pound wedge people i mean how mental is that just crazy isn't it but having said all that fucking worth it genuinely like the performance that i'm getting out of the 56 and the 60 is just unreal if i look at my previous wedge shots just if i was let's say i'm hitting a standard wedge right never normally would it probably come out that low and it, it, it is actually quite mad how low i find these come out i mean look at that that's just a standard shot and so i've never felt like i've had more control probably in my in my golf game with, with these clubs. I mean, I'll try and hit one a little bit higher. And I feel like you've got that. That wasn't very pure at all. Let's not try and make out it was. <laughs> but it really does, they, they have been like so, so good. And I think if you're looking for a, if you're looking for a wedge where you really want to try and dial it in, in their middle distances of like 70 yards, 80 yards, where the pros are just terrific and I'm really shit, they really help you improve because I just think they've got far more control. I really feel like they give you just that more penetrating ball flight, which is exactly what you need in terms of percentage of getting in the pin closer. So I do think the Platinum is worth it if you're a better player, but I still think the standard Opus is, is class and the 50 degrees still been amazing, travel's amazing, good spin rate, looks still quality. But if you've got the extra cash to spend, I don't know why you wouldn't go for the Platinum. I really don't because I think the spin the extra spin that they generate and the, the extra bit of performance and visual they give you makes it worth the extra 70 quid, I'm not gonna lie. So for me so far, very, very pleased indeed. Now, I think there's a multitude of grinds that they offer. That I've got S grinds in both, of my 50, in both my 50 and 56, but in my 60, I have a Z grind, which is a bit more rounded, a bit more open, basically to help you open up that club face so you can really sort of hit them flop shots. I mean, and again, the amount of spin on that's a joke, but they offer loads of different, loads of different grinds that sort of preferred certain people. Yeah. I've got far less bounce on this. I'm on, I've got an eight degree uh, bounce on this for any other people want to know, mainly because I want to get under the ball more. Why would I want the ball club to bounce if I want to hit flop shots? So yeah, I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of the difference of what, if you're on that fence, like, should I, should I go platinum? Should I go standard? Ultimately, depends how you play. But I think for a better player, the Platinums will definitely give you that little bit of an edge in terms of hitting them low controlled spinny shots that quite frankly, just look fucking sexy and make us want to go on the golf course every week. So yeah. that's what I would do. I, I'm so happy I got the Platinum. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So the final scenario that I'm gonna leave you with is let's say you're an 18 handicapper, right? Let's say your short game is not the best. It's probably the worst part of your game. It's probably what's stopping you getting down to single figures, okay? Should you invest in new Opus wedges or Opus Platinum wedges, spending 300 pound on wedges? Do you want my honest answer? Probably fucking not. <laughs> Do you know why? Because I just think there's too many golfers out here that are so focused on equipment. We, we, it, like, it gets us high, doesn't it? Oh my God, I've got a new club. I can't wait to go and use it but it lasts for about a week. It's like a new car. What I would say is if you're that 18 handicap golfer, practice your short game first. Use whatever you've got for now, because I'm telling you something, right? You give me Callaway Opus wedge, you give me the oldest Callaway Big Bertha wedge, right? I'd still be able to hit a good wedge shot. Yes, I may notice a bit of a different performance because there is no doubt that a newer club does help. However, not that much. Your ability will always trump the club. And so if you are that 18 handicap and you're trying to get down, just get the reps in first, get yourself on the short range, practice a prefer a shot, I know, big word. It will make the biggest difference. And then do you know what? When you really feel like your short game's improved, 
make the investment. Really do, because then I think it'll push you further. You know, I'm one of the biggest, when I'm training people, training clients and trying to get in shape, I always say invest in the process. But I think, I'll be honest, for you to really see the benefit of getting these new wedges, I think you need a certain ability first to see that benefit. Yeah. So I think prove to yourself that you have that short game and then fucking treat yourself to a brand new set of Opus <laughs> Platinum wedges yeah. when you're hitting these low spinny burners and it's really gonna make a big difference. All right, nice. so look, I hope you enjoyed this review. I've really, really enjoyed getting some new wedges. They've been terrific so far. I'm excited to see how they play out for the next year and going into the new season. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a comment down below. If you want me to do any more reviews of clubs, why not? I'm sure I'll be able to get my hands on them. So please, again, drop a comment down below of what you'd like to see. And as usual, if you like seeing this face, destroy the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe and on to the next.